Right, here we are in the Luxor. New York, New York, at the side of um, Excalibur. And there's the Eiffel Tower. So strong. Like, we're going to be wasted on three of them. I want some finger licking chicken. It would be. Hi. I just made a friend. I just made a friend. Welcome back to the channel. Whirly and Nick, a couple from the UK. In 2017, due to a health scare, we gave up our 9 to 5 lives and bought a lodge on the east coast of England, where we started enjoying life and seeing more of the world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join us on our biggest adventure yet as we drive from LA to Orlando on our USA road trip. View to wake up to on a morning. Not as good as the strip, but it's damn good. Yeah, and I'm not talking about Nick. I'm talking oh. about the view out of the hotel window. So uh, there's the area. So I'm just orientating myself. So that's north, and the stratosphere is up there. Mandalay Bay is that way. That's west, and then behind us, on the front of the building, is the strip. Yeah. So these are the pools for this hotel. The people around them already people in the hot tub. I think we get access to the ones at the back. Yeah. And then this one is like the Nomad uh, um, at Park MGM, which looks like a, an exclusive yeah. I don't know what Nomad is, but. So that's our hotel there, the Park MGM. For another half an hour. Yeah, that's where we're parked. We're off to get the car, and then we are moving on to our next hotel, which is? The Luxor. The Luxor. For one more night. Yes. Right, it's just round the corner to the Luxor car park now where we are staying tonight. Getting these free nights on the MGM reward app is great, obviously, saves you a lot of money, but there's a lot of to and fro in, although we have paid for a Luxor tonight. Yeah, this is, a, because this is not a free one, yeah. It's a Friday and we couldn't get any free stays on a Friday. So we are in Luxor tonight and then we check out again tomorrow and then we are in the Tropicana, Tropicana for however, three nights. but one of those nights will be at the Bellagio, so we don't have to ferry luggage and move cars and things like that. Yeah, so that will be better once we get in there. Right, let's on go, to the onto the strip now. That's where we're heading for this evening, the Luxor, the pyramid. Right, here we are in the Luxor. This is our room. So we have uh, two queen beds, again, I'm loving these queen beds. Uh, even though that you were actually, we were actually snuggling about 6 a.m. this morning. Yes, and I do sleep better when Nick comes and snuggles. <laughs> um, so I'll show you around the room quickly before we head on out. It is very dated. Very is, dated, it is a, yeah. It is an old hotel. There's no USB sockets anywhere. Um, it could no. do with a refresh, but it was one of the cheaper ones. It was like, I think it was the third cheapest of all the MGM yeah. um, hotels. And the app where you get the digital key, don't use it because it needs Wi-Fi to do it. And when you're in the lift, you don't have a Wi-Fi signal, so you can't put your lift, your floor number in. Yeah. So we basically just went and got proper keys. Just a uh, nice yeah. idea, but, but it just in. doesn't work. We're in, I'll show you around. So queen beds, lots of storage. I presume there were going to be like a mini bar or something in there. Well, Open maybe that's it. what where the fridge was. But <laughs> There's maybe, nothing maybe in there. Maybe will go in there, a hand luggage or something. TV, which we'll never even use. Doesn't doesn't move. No. Again, no, no USBs. A, uh, an Egyptian wardrobe. Yeah. With iron. Maybe it's uh, time to do some laundry. This is a really nice area here, um, and desk and what have you. These windows are red hot. The problem, you literally can feel heat yeah. radiating, but these, there's some silver like foil curtains. Very Egyptian. Which literally block every yeah. bit of heat out, which is good, which is why they were closed when we came in. But so, um, we put the aircon on, so when we leave, we will shut the windows. Show you out here quickly, there's a the Mandalay Bay. This is obviously our view, you can get four different views from the looks or depending on which side of the pyramid you're on. So there's the Mandalay Bay, which we have stayed in before. And from here you get a uh, airport view as well. So there's planes and things over there. So that's the strip and the Las Vegas sign is just behind that sign, mm. this is Mandalay Bay. Yeah, we need to have a walk down to that. And there's the monorail um, track. I've seen it going on along. So we'll probably get on that at some point. And um, I think that's right. about it. It's now like one o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. We've been in here for about an hour, so I'm going to a lift out back from uh, from Manchester when she gets back. Monorail, monorail, monorail. Here we go. 
Yeah, we've just so been doing we've been sorting things. that. So we've managed to sort it. Um, so we're going to go out now and explore and uh, get some food. We, we need, need to, to walk to MGM because we've got a buffet. lunch voucher to use. Let's go. Come on. Before we leave, we just thought I'd show you this. I love this. The safe is in the drawer at the side of the bed. But I don't know what's to stop people from taking the drawer out and, and then you've effectively got the safe. Right, let's go. Right, so when you come out of your room in the Luxor, well, first of all, you see this very lovely carpet and then you look over the balcony and you can see into the pyramid. So I presume whichever room you have in the Luxor, you can see into the pyramid. Ours isn't a great view. They could do something with this. They could put something Yeah, they could do something there, yeah. Something. But I'm guessing if you um, have a room over there, you can see straight down into uh, the casino and things like that. There's a Titanic exhibition in here as well. I think they've got body works as well in uh, the Luxor. So if you've got rooms a little bit further down, like these ones here, you get to see more into uh, the Luxor. It does look very dated, I must admit, compared to the Park MGM. But uh, as Nick says, it is an old one, but uh, they could uh, refurb it. A little fact about the Luxor uh, elevators. They don't go up and down because it's a uh, pyramid shape. They take you sideways, so you go up the four sides of the pyramids. And it feels weird. So, I'll just show you around as we're walking around the Luxor. Uh, what there is, is like bars and places. We did actually have a voucher for the buffet in the Luxor, but it gets such bad reviews that we cancelled it. And we got the MGM instead. It feels very 1980s in here. Like, I imagine, looks like they've not updated it for like 30 years. Okay, we finally found the exit. Um, it takes a bit of um, getting um, finding the exits in these Vegas there are, hotels. There are no signs that say exit apart from fire exit signs. So no matter where you look, you cannot actually find your way out. Because they, presumably they don't want you to get out, they want you to be yeah. in spending well, money. I want to go out and eat, so come on. Yeah. So next to the Luxor is the Excalibur. We've never been in, but uh, we have heard that it's one of the worst on the strip and uh, one to avoid, but we've never been in, so we, we can't say for sure. Let's put it this way, in companion, in comparison, if on, a, on a My Vegas reward, I think you can get a free night here for 12,500 points. Bellagio costs 150,000, so that's like saying that the Bellagio is 10 times better, better. That, and everybody says that it is, so. Monorail, monorail, monorail. There's the tram on its way. So it goes from the Mandalay Bay, and there's the Luxor. Not sure how far down it goes, we'll find out. Does it stop at our hotel? Or is, um, that, is that our junction? I'm not sure. We need to find these things out. That looks like a nice show to watch. What? Australia's Thunder From Down Under performing nightly. New York, New York at the side of um, Excalibur with its own uh, roller coaster, which I think I think Park Baz is it? I don't think they were keen they on it, were they? They didn't rate it, I don't think. No. Maxine didn't rate it. So we're just trying to get up on this uh, walkway so we can get over there and then we need to be over at the MGM Grand for our buffet. Even going from one hotel to another, it's kind of like a, uh, a challenge, isn't it, to find your way to it's, get there? It's very disorienting because there's no gap between one hotel to another. There are connections and tubes and escalators and paths connecting them all together and then somehow the cars go flow through it and then you don't know where one hotel starts and another one ends. We've got a few it's days very confusing. to get used to it all. Oh, there goes the, uh, the roller coaster. It's very rickety. Statue of Liberty. So apparently it's 150 feet and the original is 305 feet so it's just under half the size of the original in New York. Right, so we're just walking through the New York, New York to get to the MGM. So I'll just show you around the New York, New York while we're here. Looks all right, actually. Looks... Just trying to claim a, um, just trying to claim another um, reward. Yeah, we want some cocktails tonight. Well, so the, the drop times for the My Vegas app change every day, and today it's four o'clock with it being a Friday. So I'm just logging on. Here's the bar, well, one of the bars in the New York, New York. Right, we found the uh, walkway across the strip. So I'll just show you a little bit around. There's and more then... lanes there than we have on a UK motorway. Yeah. Oh. Right, here's the MGM Grand. There's the buffet over there, Nick. So we're going to the buffet. I'll just show you the um, casino. 
there's a lot of bars in here, bar there, sports bar there, restaurant up there. So this should have cost $36.99 per person plus sales tax of $3.10. So in total, for two people, including tax, we paid £40.09. So that's 20 bucks each. And you get your drink, soft drinks as well. Right, we've cashed in our voucher. Lee's gone first for a change. Uh, apparently they've got breakfast and lunch serving still. They've got uh, an, a bottomless mimosa for $18 over there. Um, they've got free beverages, soft drinks. They've got desserts trays here behind me. I'm absolutely starving. Right, Lee's returned, literally dropped the plate and gone for more. So he's got two slabs of turkey and some, thank you, and some soy sauce with some sushi and it looks like fruit and melon there. He's back, he came back with a drink. Vitamin water. I felt turkey. like I just needed to be a bit healthy today because we've been eating such shit stuff. Um, um, fruit, turkey and some um, sushi. Right, I'm getting malnutrition because I'm just waiting too long. Mm. Nick's back with his healthy plate now. What's wrong with that? What have you got? How's that pizza? That was just a, a weakness. Is that turkey, the turkey gravy? Yeah, freshly sliced though. I want that I want sliced. freshly sliced too. Um, lots of garlic, roasted, yeah. uh, a bok choy, yeah. loads of olives, a little bit of hash browns and potatoes, some turkey and a little bit of pizza. I was just weak on the pizza. And the Coca-Cola freestyle machine is included in the price as well. Yeah. And coffees and teas. <laughs> Time to check out the desserts. I'm starting here. I'm, I can take my time now, so there's not as many people. So you've got soft serve, um, self serve, and soft serve vanilla and chocolate ice cream. Here, you've got pineapple and coconut. Maybe you can make this off a doll whip or something like that. Uh, and then you've got all your sprinkles and things like that for the tops, just your usual stuff. Some danishes. Some um, lemon cheesecake, or lemon lemon drizzle cake, it looks like, and some cupcakes. I'm not sure what they are, but they look like schmores. Uh, red velvet cake, chocolate brownies, chocolate muffins. Looks like a pecan muffin, carrot cake, something else, red velvet. Ooh, Rice Krispies got out of them. Oh my god, we've got some cannolis. And then there's these things that I think they're selling Starbucks, the pot things that Masha loves. And then you've got the chocolate version, and then you've got some little mousses, a raspberry one, a mixed one, like a Neapolitan. That looks like some kind of butterscotch, and then a uh, Oreo one by the looks. And then down here, you've basically got jam, and butter, and toast. And then here you've got your freestyle machines, which I said they're included, so I'm just going to pour myself one. Usually you only see these on cruise ships. Ice. And then I'm going to go for, uh, I want a root beer. Oh. Wow. I want one of these. So that's a vanilla root beer. I just only just realised it didn't re say it clearly on the screen. Bit of egg, please. How is it there? Vanilla which was very yellow, but it still tastes like vanilla ice cream. And then it also got coconut. And then I think it was crushed Reese pieces on top, because it was very peanut buttery, and brave pieces just come back. Mini carrot cake and a decaf coffee, that's all I can manage. I had two plates full of fruit and a couple of bits more slices of turkey, and I'm stuffed. I've got to say, you hear a lot of bad reports about um, buffets in Las Vegas. This one, you can't fault at all. It's really nice, I think. For the money we've paid, including the voucher, we only paid $40, so well. that's 20 quid each, and you get your drinks. That's Coffees. probably cheaper than Golden Corral. Yeah. We must have a coffee now, because it's absolutely freezing cold in here with the aircon. Aircon's brilliant.
can't believe we found the salad bar after we've eaten. What a shame. Right, so a lot of the rewards that you get on the My Vegas app, you've got to collect from one of the MGM reward desks, which are in each hotel. Right, we're now in the underground of the MGM Grand, and it's probably like an underground. It's got all the um, like shops and stuff like you were on in the underground. What's the way? What I don't get, right, is that we're, in the, we're going on the underground towards to get to the monorail, which yeah. is above ground. So we went to the monorail, we've got two for one tickets from the MGM Rewards. We queued up for that MGM Rewards, but then you, they said you don't actually have to queue there, you just give the, um, we printed them off. You just give them on the monorail and things like that, and then they give you the tickets. This is the first, one thing I've, I've, I've said earlier on, and I've said it to you, I'm not going to mention it on the vlog, but it's, there's no, there's nothing that indicates on signage to anything within to with, get out. To get out, <laughs> so there's no exit signs. There's no monorail signs, there's... They obviously want to keep you inside the casinos yeah. as much as possible, eating, drinking, or um, gambling. Yeah, uh, but we just want to like, explore all the hotels and... Yeah, we want to gamble, because we can use our yeah, free we're going to go for gamble, but not yet. We're going to head on down to the Paris Hotel. Venetian. The Venetian, and the Venetian. And Paris, yeah. We want to have a look at those uh, hotels, because they're a little bit different from uh, all the rest so far. So 4 p.m. Vegas time on a Friday, you can actually bag more rewards. So while we were stood in the queue, we just got about four different things, didn't we? Mainly yeah, food and drink. Some mimosas and stuff like that. Okay, we've learned something more again about the My Vegas uh, rewards. You can't just get on the monorail like somebody told us. You've got to go to the customer service desk first and redeem it there. The monorail customer service desk, which is just before you get out onto the monorail. So we're gonna get our tickets here. downloaded a PDF of the, the map from the uh, Las Vegas monorail website and I've got to say it's absolutely sweltering loving it <laughs> right we're now walking through another hotel I don't even know what hotel we're in anymore to get this to is the problem we're completely out of his depth here it's just organized chaos but we are heading towards Paris Hotel which we is think. a good thing no, I can see there's a sign Paris yeah, ahead. The problem is you see a sign and then you don't see another one. And you're just, wondering whether you've gone wrong or not. There's just so much going off everywhere. People having massages there. It's just chaos. It's just like, um, it's giving me it's a, a visual overload of everything. Sensory overload. Sensory overload, yeah. A million dollars. That is what a million dollars looks like. How much is in there? Oh, they're not real notes. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh. Me. I want to eat some cake. Look at the size of it though. You could. It's like a breeze block. It's an ATM um, cake machine type I'm thing. I'm sure we've seen that on a vlog somewhere, that rainbow cake. Yeah, maybe. Maybe later. Right, this is more our style, Paris. We've now just got to find the uh, Eiffel Tower, see how much it is, and see if we want to go up it. I'm not hungry, but I could quite easily have a crepe and a French coffee. Do you think it reminds you of Remy? A little bit, yes, it's exactly what I was thinking about, actually. It looks like yeah. the theme in it looks the, very yeah. Disney. In the false perspective on the little windows upstairs yeah. and things like that. We've just got to find the Apple Tower still. It needs some Parisian music playing now. Yeah, maybe. It's nice that it's a little bit quieter here. Yeah. Everywhere else is like so loud. The and casinos are rammed. Yeah, but this is really nice and relaxing. And even though obviously it's all fake, it I feels bet. a little bit more cultured. I bet on an evening all this is rammed. I bet it's really nice here in the evening, Probably. actually. Right, so we finally found the Eiffel Tower. You can just see the legs of it through there somewhere. Um, and unfortunately, it doesn't start operating until 5 p.m. 5 till 7, I think they said. So you can't go up until 5 p.m. onwards. Um, but I still quite like this place, Paris. So I think we'll try and get out now and go to the Venetian Hotel, have a look at the gondolas. And there's the Eiffel Tower. Looks really high, actually. It's half the size of the uh, Eiffel Tower in Paris. So we'll try and get up that later, hopefully. And then just across the road is the Bellagio Fountains and they're doing a show right now. Let's run across. Okay, it looks like that show is finished and we're on the other side of this very busy road. We couldn't get across. <laughs> we'll look at it later. We are actually staying in the Bellagio um, in a 
few days time so we'll definitely see that so it's so hot now it is very hot down right. to the venetian which should be that way because the uh, is that like the rinalto bridge there yeah i think so as you walk around vegas you get lots of leaflets like this can't show the bottom half of these leaflets but chantel uh, and nicky though i'm kind of guessing you that you can guess what so these uh, are for let me look on the other side it might be a different oh it's lily and alexa on the other mm. side it's Rod and Amy in here. <laughs> Couple more minutes and we should be there. It is so hot. And there's a lot of colourful characters, let's just say, walking down the strip. We've already seen a guy with a full beard in a um, an outfit. We're talking about this. We've seen Roddle and Emu. Yeah, yeah, I like your neck. Um, a nurse carrying a big pineapple. <laughs> I don't know whether she's on a stag do or not. But um, you're guaranteed to see things down here that you would not normally see. We've seen a lot of cowboys with cowboy hats and um, no tops on as well. They were quite nice. Yeah. We have been in the Venetian before and I really liked it last time. It has a very familiar feeling, uh, sorry, similar feeling to the Parisian hotel, the Paris hotel, except obviously it's um, Italian. And down here should be the uh, canal with the gondolas. gondolas. Do you fancy a, like a Venetian ice cream? Um, or a Venetian no, cocktail? Still, oh yeah, I love one of them. Hang on, you just said you were stuffed. Yeah, I've got two stomachs drinking and eating. Right, there's the canal and it does look like they're going round on the gondolas. We will inquire how much they are when we find where do you do it. Yeah, I can probably give you the guess as how many digits it's got. Right, we've made it to St. Mark's Square. Maybe we'll have a coffee and be charged 100 grand. <laughs> 100 grand? Well, that's what it is in Italy, isn't it? It's about charging a fortune for coffees on St. Mark's Square now. It's, I like this, really like this. Again, it's very different from all the other places. It's very cool in here it's as well. Lovely. Lots of ice creams and gelatos and stuff in the middle. We're going to inquire about how much the gondola is. Yeah, let's have a look, just out of interest. Right, there's the prices for the gondola rides. $39 per person for a 10 to 13 minute ride. You only live once, every day is best, let's go for it. Right, we have our tickets, we've got 45 minutes before we go and get in the queue. So we found a bar called Casanova Tapas Bar. Lee's just looking at the menu, I'm gagging for a beer. It is so warm, even though it's aircon inside I still feel like I'm really hot. So we're going to have a blue moon, what are you having? You're going to get a pinot noir? Just get the peanut butter with lemonade. The menu. And then um, once we've done that, we're going to head over to the Bellagio or maybe delay until... We're going to go down to Fremont Street. Oh yeah, we're going to get the monorail up to Fremont Street for when it gets kind of dark and then come back hopefully tonight and do the Eiffel Tower. I found my new gadget. This is one of those little robots that basically either serves you or goes around and delivers the uh, Ubers that we saw in San Francisco, very similar. And it's in a place called Man Cave, which is basically a load of things for gadget lovers. So there's, uh, there's guys in there being wrapped up in those chairs that we saw in Orlando. There's um, electric scooters, football hats, if you're, if you're in that, into that kind of thing, American football. Oh my god, an Iron Man hat. I wonder if that actually expands and then comes out and goes around your head. And um, let's have a look, see what it says. No, I don't really say what it is or how much it is. But I quite like the look of that myself. And then talking about Iron Man, the shop next door called um, Califano. Califano. Uh, and they've got this big Iron Man in there that looks like more like a Transformer than an Iron Man. This is a... Uh, this is the name of the shop. So many gadgets and things that you could buy, but obviously if you're a tourist in the UK, there's no way to get them back.
Right, we're walking back onto the strip. We're just leaving the Venetian. You can see all the little restaurants on my right hand side just here. Um, and then we're going down to a place that the Bazaars have recommended. They do three cocktails for $11 all day, every day. And it's called One Ocean One Grill, I think it's called. Um, it's between the MGM and the hotel across the road. So we're going to wander down there now. We'll show you what it's like and we'll see what cocktails we can get for $11. Oh, it smells of marijuana out here. Does it? Yeah. It smells of Mr. Sheen to me. So if we'd have done the uh, gondolas, we'd have actually done it and queued over there and done the outside ride. But it um, doesn't look very um, Italian when you're literally sailing past neon lights on the strip. It's not very... Uh, I bet we could have gone straight on the outdoor. Not very well, probably, yeah. There's nobody on it. You'd probably be roasting as well. So you can see the Rialto Bridge there in the distance and um, the uh, spire from St. Mark's Square. So we want to be heading literally straight down there for about 1.2 miles from here. I never realised when we were walking here we actually went over the Rialto Bridge. I didn't know. The ones in Italy obviously don't have escalators but the, uh, these <laughs> ones do. You never know about it now. Maybe. somewhere called the, that way, the Sky Lounge or something like that. There's this, there's a slot machine here called Craps, I've just seen it. Here we go, three for one drinks, $12. It's actually gone up a dollar since uh, Baza came. It was $11 for him. First of my three for $12 cocktail is a Tom Collins. It's got vodka and gin. I think it's got a bottle of vodka in it. It's so strong. You are going to be wrecked. I've tried mine. I've got a Hawaiian... Two more to come. What have I got? Hawaiian something? I don't know, but yours is very strong too. so strong. Like, we're going to be wasted on three of them. It'll be a cheap night. Right, drink number two. This is a Paradise Punch. And it's got in it... It doesn't sound very alcoholic. I haven't tried it yet. It's got a Kikau One Orange, Peach Snaps, Mango Puree, Orange Juice and a dash of Grenadine. Let me mix it up and I'll try it. I don't know what it is, but it's strong. Cocktail number three and our last one is an Almond Joy. It's got in it Malibu Coconut Rum, Frangelico, whatever that is, Amaretto, white creme de cacao, ice cream. Caraso. No, actually. C A C A O. Oh, it's chocolate. Yeah. Ice cream milk. Where's chocolate from? Ice cream milk mix and a chocolate sauce. Let me try it. I'm trying it behind the camera as well. Well, that's lovely. Mm. Very strong. It's like a, a strong bailey. It reminds me of a chocolate martini on the cruise mm. with um, amaretto in it. Oh, it's very nice, actually. And only 10 calories per cup. Yeah, right. Which, which many of you have been meeting. I think that was the price. We've just had an epiphany, which is not a cocktail. I enjoyed that. Me too. So thank you to the Bazzers who put us in touch with the uh, Hi, the cheap side of the, the strip. Not that I'm saying that the Bazzers are cheap, but they have just literally realigned our expectations of Vegas. They're not cheap. They they're just they're just they've got the economical screwed on. They yeah. know what they're doing. So all the hotels and all the prices in the hotels are like extortionate prices. Well, yeah, the, the place that Baz has just told us about, we just paid twenty six dollars plus a four dollar sixty eight tip, which was eighteen percent for six cocktails, and we're absolutely shit faced. I'm not. Let's just tell the yes, truth. Yes, you are. We were walking around Vegas with no plan, and we were getting very frustrated. So we text our mate the Bazzers. Wait a minute. Wait. We text our mate the Bazzers and said, we're frustrated, we don't know what to do, what should we do? We didn't. And we said we can't we didn't. We said we can't cancel the hotel, we want to leave Vegas. <laughs> we hated it. We so, they give us a list of places to go. That being one, and then the next place where we're going being the second place that they recommend us. 
so we'll see what that's like. Well, this one's not cheap. They did tell us that. It's a bit posh, they said the next it's one. It's the Sky Bar on the 25th floor of the Waldorf Astoria. Ooh. Apparently the drinks are quite expensive, so we'll probably just have... Yeah. Did you not read that bit? What were we going for? Because of the views of the strip. Okay. And apparently it's really quiet, so we're going to go and check it out. And then, I've just realised that when we booked the hotel at the uh, Luxor, we actually got a $30 food and beverage voucher on our hotel, and we've been spending money all day. So we're going to go back there and have food for the rest of the night. After we've had the drink at the Waldorf Astoria, we were going to go and do the Eiffel Tower, but tomorrow we're going to have a day off. I hope you know where we're going. Does that look like it's out? Um, I'm not sure. Just keep talking. Um, so tomorrow we're going to do um, a chill day. We're going to go probably either to Death Valley or to Red Rock Canyon and then do shopping in the afternoon. And then the day after we're going to go back onto the strip and do it cheap style. Baza style. The Baza style, yeah. Right, this is the um, shopping uh, supermarket kind of shopping mall <laughs> we're in. <laughs> this is the shopping mall that Baza sent us to. No, it's not shopping, is it? But um, we've enjoyed it because that bar we're inside is a bit random. But, um, yeah, it's nice. ABC stars. So, there's actually... Ooh, they sell that um, sun spray that we use there. Banana, banana one. Banana, whatever it is. Yeah. So, apparently, um, Lee says, and so it's probably completely wrong, but um, Vegas has got a premium outlet. Same as Orlando. Something like that. I'm sure we went oh, to you it said before. it. You said it. So, we're going to go and check it out tomorrow. Right, we're going up and over the strip. So, the strip is there behind us, so you can see the Osho there. And what's that? Turn left. The Mirage. What there? What? The Mirage. Where? Behind us. Oh, we've got we've got a free sandwich there tomorrow. Oh yeah. Well, no. Buy one get one free. I think. Yeah, actually. two for one. Two for one. We've been getting some things on the MGM Rewards app today. We're going to struggle to use them all, to be honest. Yeah, because to be fair, now that we've found these cheaper places outside, <laughs> <laughs> we might as well just use yeah. those. It's still cheaper to do. It's still cheaper to go to the Baza places than it is to go to yeah. the to the non Baza places. If you don't like the smell of marijuana, don't come to Las Vegas Woo! because it stinks of cannabis everywhere you go. Look at the size of that billboard. It's massive. I feel a little under rest for this place. I hope the bath is not winding us up and this is some kind of like bondage pie or something like that. That's a bit posh. Plays havoc with your eyes, especially when you've had a drink or two. The lobby. Right, act posh, this Nick. Is the lobby, act this is... posh. I'm acting posh. This is the lobby. That's making my eyes go funny. <laughs> and then this this guy, oh my god. Act posh. Oh, look at that view. Wow. Yes. Yes, they let us in. And we have got literally a strip view facing wow. the Eiffel Tower. It's almost as good as going up it. And the sun is going to set in the next 15 minutes. And they're just going to start service because we're actually in the area outside the bar. This is a bit of me, this. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm from West Yorkshire, this is a bit of me. I'd just like to show you what Mrs. Bazza has sent us, what she said we should do while we're here in Vegas. On Groupon. She said we should go and do that. She's true Yorkshire. So naked hot men singing. And I said I'd, I'd go, go and watch it. Yeah, That's watch. not what you said. What you said is they can drop their something in my drink, any, my it. cocktail, any day. So I'd go and see that, but Nick was here. I'm not, it's too reserved. I'm not interested in what they've got to sing. Well, no, because you've got me, so it's okay. Well, you can't sing either. Right, let's um, have a look. I imagine it's not going to be 3 for $11 in here. Let's have a look. We can, ask. we can ask. Let's have a look. So we're looking at $22, $19. Flip, flip the page, flip the page. 23, Keep 22, 28. Keep flipping. Keep flipping. Keep flipping. Wine is twenty. That glass a bottle. Glass. That's a bottle. Freaking hell! Twenty nine dollars for a glass of sparkling Keep wine. Flipping. Here I found sixteen dollars. Where's the soft drinks? Um, nine dollars for a double espresso coffee. <laughs> <laughs> that menu. We're so thanks, tight. Baza. What have you brought yeah, here? Yeah, thanks, Baza. Oh, 
Oh my god, I like this place. They've brought snacks, nuts, pot. and sort of things that look like pot scratchings. Pot rhymes. They're just pot That's pot. why Barry likes it here. They bring oh, yeah. box pot scratchings. <laughs> mm, very nice, actually. Very nice. Just look at this view, it's amazing. So um, this weekend, tomorrow night, I think, there is a big boxing match here. Is it? Oh no, that's just under scene. I thought that were it. <laughs> but um, it keeps coming up on that little billboard there. I don't know anything about boxing, but there is a big boxing match. I think it's in the MGM Grand, which is behind us. Um, that's why it's a little bit busy this weekend. Is that why? You, is that because you saw a line earlier and thought there were too many people taking photos of it? Well, no, I'm sure it's in the that's MGM Grand. Oh, it's in the MGM Grand. That's because I told you I think it is. I'm Butch, I know about spots. Uh, oh, there we go. Is that it? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I Can don't I just know. say, Lee doesn't believe me, right? That, that shopping outlet down there, the shops at Crystal, is actually Simon's Group, which is part of the premium outlet. He thinks that's part of the premium outlet. Uh, well, I don't know if me. it is or not. The shops at Crystal's Simon Centre. Um, I'm waiting for Nick to me. vlog it. There we go. Part of the premium outlets. Oh. Yeah, but it doesn't look like a premium outlet. It looks very it's upmarket. Premium. It's very premium. Exactly. Um, so there we go. It's about an hour later, I'll have to do this quickly because there's music on. But there is the Las Vegas Strip. Right from the skyline, sky bar in the uh, Waldorf Astoria. It was literally light when we sat down. And now it's pitch black. I want some more nibbles. I want food. It's one of those moments where literally this is another world. Apart from that, that looks like Encounter at Firepoint Star Trek The Next Generation when Q first turned up. Any geeks out there will know what I mean. But um, looking around, it's just another world from the world we all live in. That's the hotel lobby, and then straight out that window is the strip. Those are the elevators we're gonna go downstairs in. And we're gonna go now to the Luxor and spend our 30 pound food and beverage credit that we got on the hotel booking when we, uh, when we booked the hotel. Here comes Lee, spending a penny. I was just saying, do you not think that looks like Encounter at Firepoint? <laughs> I knew you'd get it straight away. It's exactly the same as Encounter at Firepoint, isn't it? Yeah. I've just said it on the vlog. Nobody, nobody who, who doesn't watch Star Trek will get that at all. I get it. But you can, you're smiling, so I can see you understand exactly what it is. Lower lobby. Right. Let's get to the looks. All we've got thirty pound of food and beverage credit to use. So that ain't gonna get as much. It's thirty dollars. Excuse me. We're having a snack. Exactly. Thirty dollars. Yeah. We're having a snack. Nothing more. We're now heading back to our hotel, the Luxor. I was just talking, it don't matter. Whatever. We're now heading back to our hotel, the Luxor. We have $30 to spend. I know it won't get much. You might even get a packet of chewing gum for that. We might get a beer each or something like that. It's a Shake Shack there. He's in um, Icon Park in Florida. Whatever. Um, so, no matter what time Why it is. miss me all the time? Whatever. Whatever time it is, I imagine in Vegas, it's always whatever, whatever. it's always bustling whatever. it's always heaving it's always busy it would be nice to see you i want some finger licking chicken it would be hi it would god hold and aim you again it would be nice to see it if i could wake Ooh. up but i can't what's this i'll give up throwing wash on me i'm wet through now it would be nice to see it where at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., just to see what oh my it, god, that's got chlorine in it. Just to see if it's still as lively and as busy as it is now. Of course but it is. There's no way I'll be up at 2 a.m. Whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Right then, that I'll smells go. Of chlorine. <laughs> I'll go to these naked singing people that Mrs. Back. And what are you going to do Mrs. there? Mrs. Back, we'll just watch them sing. Right, yeah. Um, so we're going back to our hotel Luxor. We're hopefully going to get a beer, some snacks, or some. I'm really hungry now, actually. What have we had to eat today? What? What have we had to eat? Um, 
we had Cameron M- Buffett. MGM Buffett. That's oh, it. you had the Buffett. That's all we've had all day. I had lots of fruit and like meat for protein. What so. a waste of a Buffett. I need something to eat now because we just had, we had a few snacks at that last place, the Sky Bar. We had some nuts and a few like <laughs> hot scratching things. They weren't bloody snacks, they were just nuts. But they were nice. So we need some food now. So hopefully we'll get that at the lunch or too. Not bloody dollars, you're not going to get much. So that's the um, helicopter rides across the strip that you can get. I'm not sure how much they are, but uh, here you know we what? are. You what? know what? What, what, what? So when, in Ooh, the, in there's the some ex- more of these showgirls here. I'm going to say Rod, hello. It's Rod Hull and Emu again. Hi, hi, hi. 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 Oh, um, they're looking, at, into, they're um, looking over at Butch men, not us. They don't care about us. Yeah, well, when you go into the Excalibur, there's an offer on the uh, My Vegas app that gets you a two for one Tom something beer, like a big beer. So we're going to try that. So we might as well get it because it's free. Is this so. Excalibur? Yes. It looks good, actually. looks like something from, like, um, Aladdin. Do you not think? No, the, I think it's so. Oh, is it Excalibur? It says there. Yeah, it's the cheapest hotel on the Strip. It's not got a very good reputation, but... Let's go try as it. As long as the beer's not tainted, I don't care. Let's go try it. Right, we are now in the Excalibur. Ooh, look at all that nice ice cream. Sword in the stone bar. Right. Nick is just trying to um, sort out this... Is it a buy one, get one free beer or something? No, it's a two for one. What do you want to drink? I don't know. Well, I'll have a look beer. Yeah. I really like that beer I just had. Excuse beer. Me? Beer. <laughs> beer. I like beer. It's such a piss tip. Beer. Right, let's have a look what we've right, got. So we're just loading the rewards and MGM rewards. And you go into categories. Get your finger off the screen. Categories. Stop touching. Categories. That's it. Wait a minute. And then you go into restaurants. restaurants. And then you look for the New York. Oh. And wait, oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Straight away. Excalibur. Oh, it's cheap, but isn't I it? get one free draft beer. Right, do you want a beer upgrade or do you want a buy one get one free? What's a beer upgrade? You get a big one instead of a small one. Well, I'm, I'm always a fan of a big one. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, it's a 32 ounce. Yes, let's do it. We're in Vegas. Shall let's I buy this do one? it. Yes. Shall I buy it? What we need? Yes. We need yes. to go to the MGM desk. Oh, no, wait. As long as it's... Is it in this... A scallop. Oh my god, what's that? Wait a minute. Girls night out. This is only for mine, you need to do your own. No, wait, what? You've got to do your own. This is I for me. too. What? I want one. Get your bloody app loaded. So we've just got to find that uh, bar now in Excalibur. Um, hi. Thank you. Hello. This is my friend. Hi. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> People are very nice in Vegas because everybody's just drunk. You just made a friend. I've just made a friend. Everybody's just drunk or smoking marijuana, so everybody's just friendly and nice. Um, so, yeah, we've got to find this bar in Excalibur. Now, this is one of the hotels that is supposed to be like really bad on reviews and stuff like that. So, we'll see what it's like for drinks and things like that. And um, oh, it obviously, seems a bit rowdy. Here. It is rowdy, but it's nice. Obviously, we can't show you what the rooms are like, but we'll show you what, you know, the bars and stuff like, and the casino and stuff like that. Right, I hope you can hear me. It looks like a really massive place. This, I imagine this is one of, like, the original hotels that was here a long time. Yeah, I'm not the, sure. It's one of the cheap ones. Well, I don't care. It looks nice. It's a thousand reward credits it's for a, a buy one, get one free beer. Yeah, a thousand reward credits for a buy one, get one free beer. They'll probably charge like $50 for, for the first beer, but we'll see when we get there. The, uh, said it's all the way at the back on the left-hand side. Yeah. The casino looks very impressive, quite big. We've not done any um, betting so far. But we do intend to do some betting at some point because the last time we came, we put a dollar in and that was it. So this time we're going to do loads. Um, on the MGM Rewards app, you can um, trade some of your points for like chips for the um, arcade and stuff like that. So when we get to the last day, whatever we've got left, which we haven't spent on uh, drink, food and stuff like that, we're just gonna change it for chips and credits. So we'll um, put some money. We need to find the MGM rewards desk. What for? Cash it in? Cash what in? The pissing beer? So anyway, when it gets to the end of the trip, which is Monday, we'll just cash whatever MGM rewards we have left and uh, use them on some... They're absolutely rubbish for signs in here. Use it on some... Oh, back of bond! Yeah, but we can't go That's because we're going. A pissing voucher! We've just seen the bar in front of us where we we're going to get... We found the bar, we haven't got the voucher yet. We'll be bloody sober by the time we get this. 
hotel. We've got to walk to the other end of the hotel to get the voucher to walk it's back there, to the it's other just end. There. It's just there. Right. It's just there in front of us. Well, I hope I can lose this right. Out. So, when we first started this day off, I hated Vegas. The last time we came to Vegas in 2009, I hated Vegas. Wait a minute, he hated it about three hours ago. <laughs> and I was hating it up until the point where Baza started texting us some places to go, like off the strip a little bit. And we went off the strip and got these cocktails and then I started liking it. Obviously, three cocktails for $12 does help you enjoy things more. So um, maybe I've got it all wrong about Vegas. No, <laughs> what you mean is you don't know where the cheap places are. That's when what you come to Vegas, maybe you just need to get drunk and That's go what in. It's drunk, food, drink and gambling. Got it, got it. What do you want to drink? Uh, a Bud Light. I'm not ordering fizzy piss. I like Bud Lights. Blue Moons. We're going in here for a buy one, get one free beer. I need something to eat too, so a snack. Um, I need to ask the front waist. Is that a Luxor? What are we in? Excalibur. Yeah, yeah we, need to, we need to ask a Luxor. Yeah. Our beers are just being poured and then we're going to get a nice seat. So this morning, we hated Vegas. We even looked at the cancellation policy on the hotel to see whether we could cancel and just move on to the next location. Now we love Vegas. Only because we've had a few drinks. <laughs> yeah, well that's what Vegas. that every night The Vegas. thing is, that's what Vegas is about. If you come to Vegas, expect to, it's all about eating, drinking, gambling, uh, and seeing shows and things like that. Like well, any kind well, of shows. The next, the next time we're in Vegas, i.e. tomorrow, or whatever, we're going outside Vegas tomorrow, the day after. We need to gamble. I want to gamble a bit. We've got loads and loads of credit still on the My Vegas app that we can convert to free play. So tomorrow, we're having a day off from doing the strip. We're going to go to like, we're hopefully going to go to Lake Mead, Hoover Dam, and um, what's it called? We got us free drinks, by yeah. the way. Well, and the battery's going to go. Free. The battery's going to go flat. So he's going to stress out now. As I said, it stressed him out. The battery went flat. Um, so we got us buy one get free drinks. So this was four dollars for two drinks. Yeah. Apparently it's in happy, Vegas. Apparently it's happy hour, and we're in one of the MGM hotels. So I, I believe him. What? That it's happy hour because I'm happy. Oh, f you're definitely pissed. Um, so tomorrow we're going to go to the um, we're going to go to Lake Mead. We're going to go try and do a boat ride and look at Hoover Dam. We're also going to go try and go to the premium outlets, the same premium outlets that's in Orlando. There not, is a premium outlet. Not the one on the strip. Right. Not the one on the strip. There's actually two. There's one at the south of the strip, which we've been to before, and there's one at the north of the strip. Like a bit like I drive, really. Don't get a copyright from this music. What are you doing? You're like Arthur Fowler, back and forth, back and forth. Dancing. Is that turn? Um, is that? <laughs> You're showing your age there, Arthur Fowler. Is that is that Jenga? Yeah, I've got Jenga. Oh my there. God, let's go play Jenga. Your turn. I don't get it. You don't get it? Well, you're willing about yeah, but Jenga, 30 moves. You've got to pull off. No, you don't have to pull off. You keep... I don't get it. How do you play Jenga? I can't remember. You've got to pull it out. Like that, watch this. Look. Yeah. You've got to pull it out. Like Are you that. sure? That's Jenga. I can't remember how to play Jenga. I'm a bit tipsy. Right, let's start the tower and then no then one can play it. Do you mean like this? Yeah. Wait, 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 We are now headed back to the Luxor. Heading. Whatever. Heading. So, <clears throat> we just got that buy one, get one free drink in uh, wherever we want. It only costs a thousand reward Excalibur. points. Cheapest chips. It costs a thousand reward points. I got a uh, Bud Light. Nick got a... Mango wheat beer. Yeah, mango wheat beer. Because it didn't have a moon. And it only cost how much? A thousand reward points. No, but how much money? Four dollars because it was happy hour as well. Four dollars. And it certainly made me happy. You can't even get that in Disney. Oh god, this road's a bit busy. So we've got to get across this road now. Back to the Luxor, which is just in front of us. 
marijuana. <laughs> it's everywhere you yeah, go. There's nobody in Vegas. here. There's nobody it's here. Just, it's like in the air. Wherever Jesus, you go. that's so strong. It's just like, that's probably why I'm happy. I'm just like high on the marijuana fumes. Jesus. Monorail, 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 monorail. Bye, monorail. I don't think that's the monorail we paid for today. I think that's the one that just connects three hotels. Correct me if I'm wrong. Put it in the comments below. We well, haven't caught it, so I don't know. Right, this is the Luxor. It is a pyramid, but then it comes out at the side like but that. It's not a pyramid anymore. It, it's got an extension. Who cares? Here we are in the Luxor. So I where need do to we ask about the credit? Where do I go? Am um, I supposed to know? I got it. So uh, I'm just going to show you around the Luxor quickly while Nick scooters off. So uh, there they go. I just expect like the Stargate to be somewhere. We like the Stargate series, which is all about e Egypt and Sphinx and things like that. So I'm just following Nick. We've got to just go ask where we can spend the $30 credit that we've got on food. Right, so we asked at um, the, bell, the bell desk and she said that we can use our £30 free F&B credit, food and beverage credit, so at the public there. house, shush, and the public house in Luxor and in the deli. So we just literally went for the closest place we could find. So we've ordered chicken wings, boneless chicken wings and a buffalo salad and we're going to order oh. a Bud Light as well. Well, you are. We're currently drinking some water, but we're going to order a Bud Light. Whatever. Why are they not like Florida? Why are they why are they like, why are they dry and not got the buffalo sauce on? And yet yours, on mine. yours seems to have it. Mm. You basically got the same as me with a salad. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Yeah, right, yeah. It's just a waste of space on the plate. Mm. Right, we're totally stuffed now. We're just walking through the casino, we're going back to our room. It's absolute mental here because it never ever stops or or lets up for a second. So um, we're just heading to our elevator and I just need to get away from the noise. It's really kind of like grating on me now. So was Lee's. That buffalo chicken salad was beautiful. It was basically wings with a salad and it was beautiful. I never want wings again, I'm sick of them now. And Nick didn't like eat all this, so oh, I had some no. of his wings in my salad as well. It was absolutely beautiful. So we charged it to the room so that we can use the $30 credit that we got when we booked the, the uh, room here at the Luxor. So the total amount was $44, so we're like $14 charged. Which Not was bad at all. Quite cheap, given the fact that we actually had most of it included in the room fee, so. Right, so here we go. This is not your average elevator ride. You are in, on Ooh, a, you are in an incline, going sideways. which transports you sideways at a 39 degree angle up the four sides of the pyramid. So we're going that way up the pyramid. Who knew going to your room could be so thrilling? I just wish you weren't You can actually see it. If you look out there, I don't know where it is. I've looked up the shaft. Yeah. So, uh, oh, it, even when you stop, it's like, whoa, sideways. And then um, you walk to your room this way, and then you can see out over the balcony into the Luxor. Seven zero one zero, would it? So as you can right see, at we're at the end right at the very of this end. corridor. But as you can see, you can see out into the Luxor where we've just been. I actually quite like this hotel. I know it's a little bit dated. Very contemporary resort at Disney, looking over there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, they, they could do so much more with this here. They could put some artwork there or some well, yeah, plants. It's just like, like jump space. Yeah, it's, they could do so much more with this space. Right, so we're back in the room, so we're going to say good night to you guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed our day around um, Vegas. It wasn't very planned out. We did have some things in mind, but obviously, as you saw, we kind of got distracted and just decided to enjoy ourselves. Tomorrow, yes, tonight, we're not doing Vegas. Should have you. We're doing other stuff. We had lots of things planned out for the vlog, but then we got frustrated with Vegas, and then we got lots of things fired at us from the buzzers, and we decided to just do it and just enjoy ourselves in Vegas Ooh. for a change. And we really enjoyed it. What? There's no USB slots because it's a dated um, fit. hotel, but it's nice. I actually really like it. I know this room is so spacious. So, thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. If you are new around here, sub subscribe. Drop us any comments with any questions you have about the looks are, 
and although we've been drunk for most of the time we've been in the look so we'll try to answer them we'll see you tomorrow when we're doing some more things around Vegas but maybe going a little bit further afield when I say tomorrow it'll be the next vlog we release vlogs Mondays Wednesdays Fridays and Sundays so we'll see you on the next one I'm off to bed night everybody goodbye